Okay, so, while working on the test for an entirely different sort of effect, I learned that the hook modifier is incredibly obtuse. Without going into too much of what I was trying to do, because you'll see that in the next... <coughs> Excuse me, you'll see that in the next short. I wanted to have a hook modifier control this little vertex line and do stuff with, and move it around. You think it's pretty easy, right? You press F3, hook to new object, and you're done, right? Except it just affects the last vertice in the order. And you've just committed, apparently, a huge blunder. So let's delete that empty and get rid of the modifier. Because what you actually need to do to get the hook modifier to work is to go into edit mode of your object, and select the end vertice of where you want your hook to be pulling and affecting things, go into snap vertice, cursor to selected to put your 3D cursor at the end of your line, then do the F3 hook to new object, then select everything, hit assign and recenter, and only then, when you come out of edit mode, go into the modifiers and turn on fall off, will it work correctly if you have your fall off set correctly, which apparently I have it a little too high here. One dip more, about like that. But yeah, you have to go through that convoluted mess to get this to do what you actually want it to do. So I figured I should make a little short here talking about it in case someone needed help with this. Hopefully this saves you guys some time.